welcome back to the channel guys so today's video is going to be the kitchen makeover um if you guys didn't see a few weeks back we did the back bathroom makeover i'll link it above if you haven't seen it now i'm moving on to the kitchen um let me go ahead and insert a little clip of what the before looks like All right, so yeah, we're working with a pretty um, decent sized space for the kitchen. Um, it is a bit dated, so essentially for the cabinets, they're still in good shape. So we just plan on painting that uh, the cabinets like a gray color. We're gonna add granite countertops, and I did that through Home Depot. I'll link the other video where I talked about that um, that process. We're gonna get a new sink with it, and then add some um, backsplash, likely just some um, pretty simple subway tile, and then just add some hardware to the cabinets. But First things first, what we already did last week was install a new microwave. So that is the first thing um, that we did. We got this from Best Buy and Lord. It was such a hassle finally getting this delivered and installed. It took like a solid three weeks. And as you can imagine, when you're trying to cook, meal prep, and reheat food, that was a bit frustrating. So this is what we're currently working with right now. Kind of have this bar top and then a U-shaped kitchen. And so today, um, I want to head to Benjamin Moore and look at different paint colors because I know it could be fine, like hard finding that perfect gray. And I want a nice light gray. So hopefully I can take a few samples home and see how it works out on these cabinets. So today is Tuesday, um, painting next weekend. And then Home Depot is coming out next Friday to do the install for the countertops. All right, let's get this day started. This is Benjamin Moore the store. All right, so these are a few different options of grays. I'm looking to get um like a lighter, warmer gray. Let's see. All right, so I'm gonna take three samples home. I'm gonna do the Arctic Gray, this HC, and then the Decorator's White. I'll test those three out and see how it goes. Alrighty guys, I got the three samples. It's time to paint. All right, so back home, just opening up some of the samples here. I opened up the first one and it looks like completely white, which I don't want. Uh, let's see how this one. They all look very, very white actually. This is Wickham Gray. And then Arctic Gray. Hopefully this looks darker. This is what we're working with. This is Decorator's White. These are all grays, even though they look very white. This is the um, Wickham Gray, and then this is the Arctic Gray. So let's start with the Arctic Gray first. This looks white, oh my gosh. Oh boy. Really? Probably gonna want with something darker though. Let's put it in there. All right, let me let that dry. I'll put on all three then show you guys. Okay, this is what it looks like. On camera, it looks way wider than what it is. In person, it is pretty light though. This is the decorative white. That's definitely um, not gonna work. This one is the, uh, I think the Whitman, the Whitcam Gray, also too light. This is the darkest one, the Arctic Gray, but I still think I want one shade darker. So I think I may be making another run to, um, to Benjamin Moore to get one shade darker. All right, decision made. I'm gonna head back to Benjamin Moore and get one shade 
darker. Um, this is the closest to what I wanted, but I still want something slightly darker than that. Um, I just want to get it done today because I work the next few days and then I'm going out of town to Atlanta for a few days. And when I get back, it's going to be like time um, to start painting. So I want to go ahead and nail this color down now. All right, back at Benjamin Moore. As you can see, blurry. Okay, this is Arctic Gray. And um, I ended up going to pick up two more samples, the Gray Wisp and the Imperial Gray. And I'm going to be done after that. <laughs> samples, the samples are a pint size and they're $7. But um, I think one of these two should work one shade darker than this Arctic Gray. Probably the Imperial Gray. All right. I think we have a winner. Let me see if I can get this lighting a bit better. Huh. Open up these blinds. So I have gray wisp here, which is the lighter gray. I have imperial gray right here. Let me turn these lights back on. It is so hard to see through the camera, but these are two pretty good grays. Um, and I'm unsure which one I'm leaning towards right now, but I'll just let that sit for a few hours, come back to it and see how I feel, but I'll definitely end up going with one of these two. And guys, it's so important to get samples because these all look so different than what they um, what they look like on the actual paper. <laughs> all right, I painted a larger section. So the cabinets um, will be painted next Friday, so I still have some time to sit with this and think about it. And then the official template for the countertops are going to be sent in a few days. So once I actually see the final countertop, um, it'll probably be easier to make a decision as well about what color will be better. Good morning, guys. Uh, so it is actually a few days later now. We have um, gotten started on the process of um, like pulling out the sink and all that. So pretty much cleared out um, all of the countertops, um, took out the drawers, just placed everything over there. The plumbing, uh, the plumber came today and took out the sink and undid the plumbing. Um, and so I think like in about an hour or so, uh, Jackson Stonework is gonna come and then take this off and start installing um, the granite uh, countertops. And then I don't know if I mentioned before, that this is the color that we decided on, light gray. All right guys, quick update. And whoa, what difference countertops make they're pretty fast in and out in less than two hours they left us with that lazy susan right there um the sink is just much bigger the, when the plumber comes back in a couple days he'll reinstall the um the faucet one thing we still haven't figured out yet is the backsplash like we just haven't found anybody in the area that can do it so still on the search for that we're gonna do some white subway tile for the backsplash um painting the cabinets today then need to go to Lowe's to get some hardwood for the cabinets um some hardware rather not sure what color I'm gonna go with yet but yeah love love this so far all right guys so it's two days later I've been working nights the past couple of nights so just not giving y'all an update look at these cabinets we got two paints of gray um gray paint on there two coats um and I think yesterday I was mentioning that um, we couldn't find anybody to do the backsplash, but we have somebody coming today to give us an estimate and somebody else coming tomorrow to give us an estimate to do the subway tile. And then I think either today or tomorrow I'm going to go to um, Lowe's and then get the hardware decided on doing um, black, which I think will look good. Um, these countertops like gray and they have like some black in it. so. I think black hardware will look nice. We're gonna wait to put them on at the end of the week. Um, just Cause since these have just recently been painted, we'll just wait to put like the holes and all that in for a few days. But yeah, it is definitely coming together. Um, 
I was really unsure because these walls are blue in the background so I was unsure how this gray would blend with it eventually in the future we do plan on painting all of downstairs and all these walls white it's just not a project for now um, but I think after we put the white subway tile it'll look better as well all right so <clears throat> I just got to Lowe's looking for black kitchen hardware I found one that comes um, like in a set of 10 they're matte black round I need 16 total so I think I may do that and then just pick up some some extra ones um, They don't really have a specific style in mind. There's a square option. That hexagon. Pretty simple round one. Three fifty-seven each. I need sixteen total. One is two ninety-eight. Or get the ten pack for twenty dollars. Then just add six on. Yeah. All right, guys. It's a few days later. Um, I just got back from work and I picked up the subway towel from Floor and Decor on my way from um, coming home. So we're going with white subway towel. I don't know. This material just feels a bit cheap and it's not like a glossy or bright white. We're getting it installed this weekend. So we'll see how it goes. But right now I'm, I'm just about to um, apply the hardware that I got from Lowe's. gray cabinets the more that I look at it, it has like this uh green undertone to it wasn't exactly the gray that I was going for but it'll work the final step remaining will be the backsplash um so that's gonna be installed in a couple of days guys I am going to call it a night I'm pretty tired and I'll see you guys on Saturday morning when the backsplash is installed all right guys the kitchen makeover is finally complete uh we got the backsplash installed yesterday i'm going to show you guys really quickly we went with um some white subway tile and now i'm going to show you guys the full before and after i'm going to go ahead and insert a clip of the before super pleased we went from a dated kitchen to an updated kitchen i just love the way that it turned out so first let's talk about these countertops so we initially started with um that cream laminate uh countertop and then we decided to switch it out for granite countertops which we got from home depot they also um gave us this lazy susan to go with it and we just decided to um add um some alcohol on there so that's where we keep our alcohol but i love the way these countertops look initially we were going for like a light white kind of look we ended up getting more of like a grayish color with some black um thrown in there 
all right so next up let's talk about these cabinets we started out with that kind of traditional wood cabinet um i feel like the paint is what made such a huge difference in here we went with the gray this was not the original gray that i wanted but it really is growing on me kind of has this green undertone to it um we went with um a benjamin moore um color and then what we did was added um black hardware to it went with black i think it really works um with the the granite countertop um color so yeah gray cabinets with the black finishes on it and then first and foremost we added um a stainless steel microwave above the stove um the Previous owners before us did not have any kind of microwave, so this was the first thing that we actually added in um, was a microwave. Um, the stove we left as is. Um, obviously, it's not updated as far as the appliance, but this will do for now. And then next up, we have um, the backsplash. We went with the subway tile backsplash, and then we did a white grout with it, and I think that turned out really well. You know, before I was worried about how the cabinet color may clash with the blue walls, but I think when we have this white against it, um, the white backsplash, it all comes together pretty well. So, new microwave, granite countertops, painted the cabinets gray, added black hardware, and then finished it off with the subway tile backsplash guys and I just love the way that it turned out and this was very cost efficient and I'll give you guys a breakdown all right so first things first the most expensive the most costliest thing was the granite countertops we went through Home Depot um, definitely um, look at all your options Home Depot was a good option for us um, Gainesville just didn't have that many options for granite countertop installation but they come in they take out your old countertops they take out your plumbing they put the new one in um, sometimes all of that thing all of that is like separate fees you can essentially put add-ons and they do all in one which is super convenient for us so the total for our granite countertops was twenty seven hundred dollars and then next the backsplash the labor for the backsplash was um four hundred dollars and then all the parts like getting the tile getting the grout um the mortar um all of that was 165 so parts plus labor for the backsplash um brought us to 565 all right, next is the um, painting of the cabinets. The actual paint was around $50 and then labor. We did get somebody to do it. Um, hindsight, we could have did it on our own, but I just felt like if we were gonna have to take all the cabinets down, it was just gonna be too much. And so labor for painting was $300, which was not super expensive. So $350 total for painting. Um, this was the area that we could have saved and painted on our own, but again, for convenience, we just paid for a painter to come out. And then finally, the black hardware. Um, we bought all the hardware from Lowe's. We just drilled it ourselves. That was about $30. And so that ends us ends up bringing us to a total of uh, $3,645. So, I mean, it's relative. I think that's a pretty good price overall for a full kitchen update. Again, there was no knocking down any major walls. The most expensive and priciest thing will be the granite countertops. Obviously, if you already have granite countertops and you want to do everything else, it'll be even more cost efficient. Um, but overall, yeah, around $3,600. And then, of course, we did our bathroom update as well. If you didn't see that, um, I've already linked it earlier um, in the video. But we're done. The major, you know, rooms in the house is updated now. The kitchen and the bathrooms. Maybe later on we may paint the whole downstairs, but that's a project for another time. But kitchen update is complete. I'd love to know what you guys think about this update. If you guys are working on anything in your house currently, let me know. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye.